Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Review on Mishka. And once again, I'd love to thank my good pal Simon for letting me use his account to make this video. He has all of the great monsters. And so with that said, Mishka has a fantastic monster design, the newest, latest light legendary attacker. And so that's why Simon has two level four strength rooms on this monster right now. That third slot is locked. As for stats, right now they are boosted. But his original power is 3542, which is a high power. His life is 38906, incredibly high life. And his speed set at 3432, which is also pretty good. So anyhow, let's get into his skills, because this is where things get really interesting. So one skill he has right now is Nightmare Tiger, which deals heavy light damage to an enemy and applies double damage to itself. That double damage lasts for one turn. So it's a setup skill for a following attack. Charge alone, this skill is incredible. And this is what makes Mishka such a fantastic attacker. It applies damage boost to itself and it gives itself one extra turn. So it's a free damage boost, which by the way lasts for three turns. So you give yourself an immediate damage boost and then you get to attack the enemy. And obviously if you do charge alone and then Nightmare Tiger, then you'd have double damage and damage boost. And then your next attack, that's going to be incredibly powerful. And speaking of which, your next attack would probably be Demoralizing Roar, which deals moderate light damage to our enemies. And I know it's very vanilla, it doesn't do much other than just moderate light damage, but again, it's after you have a buff. And then even if you just do charge alone and then demoralizing roar, that's pretty powerful in itself, especially if you're going up against dark monsters. And this monster does have an advantage because he's actually in the Underworld book, the Evil Legions book, and the Undead book, which is home to many, many dark monsters. So Mishka definitely has some competitive advantage there. And lastly, we have Pack Fighter, which deals very heavy light damage to a single enemy, and there's a 50% chance of applying possession, it would have been nice if it was a straight out possession, not a 50% chance. But again, most of the time with this monster, you're probably going for that OTK or for that setup to OTK next turn. Like charge alone and then pack fighter against a dark monster, that's probably going to defeat that monster. And as for an ultimate, Light Skull's Nightmare, it deals massive light damage to everyone. It applies burn and nightmares to all of the enemy targets. And so skills wise, it's really nothing too incredible with the exception of charge alone. Just that immediate self damage boost combined with the extra turn is what makes them an incredibly usable monster. Yeah, there are other light attackers. Patreon comes to mind. Taiga comes to mind. Even Lathe comes to mind. He has an 80 damage light based attack. But again, that immediate self boost with the extra churn, allowing you to, to use Pack Fighter or Demoralizing Roar. And again, in the context that he is in three books that is home to so many dark monsters, the Undead book, the Evil Legions, and the Underworld book, that is what makes Mishka quite stand out. And then for Relics, this monster can hold the Mask Relic, which is a good relic for an attacker monster. And Mishka can even hold a sword relic. So for example, Simon actually has Solaris a sword, which after hitting the target's life is above 50%, it deals 4,030 points of light damage to the target enemies. So after you do your AoE, deal some more damage. Like there's just, this monster can do a lot. And so with that being said, let's see what other alternatives there potentially are. So block out the darkness applies dark protection and special protection to all of your allies. And again, this skill could actually be good in the context that you are in books that you're going to face a lot of dark monsters. Broken armor applies block shield to an enemy, so you can apply shield breaker to an enemy monster. This removes and blocks any future shield for three turns. We also have family memories, 50% chance of applying possession to an enemy, spammable, not a fan of that skill. Skeletal charge, 50% chance of daze, not a fan, broken claws, broken claws, a spammable shield blocker, and then default skills. So of all of these skills, I'd say probably block out the darkness is something you could run on your Mishka if you wanted to. And then the question would be, what exactly do you replace? Well, it's kind of hard to say because if this monster is an attacker and you ruin him to be an attacker, you kind of want all of these skills. You want the double damage skill, you want the strong pack fighter skill, and you want your AoE skill. So only if you were to give this monster like three team speed for some reason, that's when you'd want to use the dark and special blocker. Other than that, I don't think so. I think this is the best skill set to go with for Mishka as an attacker. And with that being said, let's actually test him out in player versus player. And so now comes the challenging part of trying to find a suitable opponent in player versus player. But I think I might be able to do this. Well, so we'll just do the two possession skills. So possession here and possession with Vada Magma. Applies possession. Hopefully I don't get hit with cooldowns activated. Hopefully space time loop damage, that's fine because that'll be negated as soon as they go. Fire trap, fire trap. Oh, that actually work too well in my favor, uh, which is fine, I guess. Let's just go ahead and recharge. We'll recharge again. And so I guess Mishka gets to do one attack. So Nightmare Tiger, 17K against a 130 Vada Magma. 
Demoralizing Roar 13k, Pack Fighter would kill him. But again, Charge Alone, give myself a little boost. Baltazar's Mask activates too. Hey, look, I even got my alt. But anyhow, Nightmare Tiger, Demoralizing Roar, Pack Fighter, at this point, they would all kill him. Since I have my alt, I might as well utilize it. And there we go. Nightmares burn. Nightmares was uh, burning was blocked, but yeah, um, didn't really get to showcase him too much. So we'll try another battle. All right, I'm not sure how this next battle is gonna go because I'm gonna get my stamina drained, but I'm hoping I'm hoping it can go well. So fortunately, I have my Zara to give me double life to protect from DOTs, and I think that will come in handy. I'll have to recharge. My can of Atlantis will activate right now, so I'll get stamina back of my monsters, which will allow me to actually do some stuff. So let's see, torch immunity. Removes negative effects, don't have anything, poison, weak to special, weak to nature attacks, let's just AoE poison then. Whirlwind, nice, charging banner, so hopefully it doesn't freeze my Mishka. Fury of the Sea, okay, as long as I'm still alive, see Zara, Zara does come in handy. That extra 50% boost to my teammates, that did help me out, and now I get to attack. So I can do Pack Fighter, which deals 31k against Master Skill because he's dark based, 20k against Thetis, and 10k against Incognita. That's my strongest attack, 60 damage. Demoralizing Roar is the AoE. Nightmare Tiger is the one that sets up and gives me double damage. And let's see, I have Stamina Leak, but that's fine. I'm going to do Charge Alone. Actually, if I do Charge Alone, then minus... Will I have enough Stamina? 24, 29 Stamina cost. Hold on, everyone. I think I'll be left with 21 Stamina, which is not enough to do Pack Fighter. But I guess I can do Nightmare Tiger, which should probably kill Master Skill. So let's do that. Charge Alone. Bolster's Mask activated, and yep, oh no, 38k, so not that powerful. If I would have been able to do Backfighter, if I would have been able to do Backfighter, yeah, Master Skill would have died. But hey, if anything, at least it's a, it sets up for double damage, and then I can just do Resurrection on my Mishka. Well, the, the double damage gonna, is it's going to disappear, but that's fine. So Nightmare Tiger, oh, and it missed. Well, that's not good. This might not end that nicely, we'll see. Come back from the dead. No, I think I still got this. Alpha Waves. And just don't freeze me, please. And then I got to recharge because I'm out of stamina. Major healing essence. All right, Zara. Transference, that might kill Zara, yep. And alpha waves. As long as I don't get immobilized, I should be good to revive. And perfect, that's just an attack. That's that's no nothing. Wait, what happened to the animation? All right, let's do Holy Resurrection. Now, who do I actually want to resurrect? Um, Let's go ahead and resurrect... My Mishka, and hopefully, oh, they get resurrected with the negative effects now? That's new. That didn't happen before. Stamina Devours, oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, what do you know, I actually made it. However, with no stamina, and yeah, the I, I didn't know the DLT stayed. I don't think they should stay. I think there's something wrong there. Maybe it's because of Zara? Maybe it's her trait? I don't know. That's odd. I, I'm pretty sure that's never happened before. Um, Let's just see if I can still win this somehow. Divine Protection. Freeze. Oh, I'm in trouble. Let's go four times speed. Mystic, Alpha, freeze again. Freeze. As long as I can maintain stamina. Okay, cool. Too bad that Holy Res is still on a high cooldown. May blind at this point. I don't even really care. Let's see if I can do something, anything. Transference, Overwhelm, Fury, Recharge, Recharge, Alpha. And of course, I'm going to do Divine Protection to recover some stamina to recover my HP. Alpha waves. Ooh, I got an alt. Fallen angels. This sounds, this sounds like it could be like. This honestly sounds like it could be a resurrection skill, a team resurrection skill. Fallen angels. Let's just recharge. Fate is fair. Overwhelm. Stamina devours. Um, let's recharge again. If I can just do a resurrection, I may have a chance. And who should I resurrect? Should I try Zara? Let's try Zara. So come back, Zara. Alpha Waves, Frosting Sea, yeah, it didn't matter. So, unfortunately, not necessarily a good showcase of Mishka. I'm going to have to take him into Adventure Map. All right, so in Adventure Map, I can showcase Mishka a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and just do Strength from Beyond to start off with double damage because that is realistically what you can do. You can use a monster to turn transfer and then just do one of your strong attacks like Pack Fighter or Demoralizing Roar. In this case, Demoralizing Roar is strong enough to take out the allies, not the monster in the middle. Look, Solaris the Sword also kicked in, which is pretty cool. And then let's do Charge with Rosanon to give myself another additional churn. And here I'll just showcase the setting up if you can somehow create some monster synergy to where you can utilize it. So let's just check out Pack Fighter. It deals 20k, but if I do Nightmare Tiger first to give myself that double damage, 
and then I do Pack Fighter. Wow, 36. A lot more powerful, right? Obviously, double damage. Um, let's do another battle in this time. Oh, cool. And this time what I'm going to do is set up that damage boost by myself and then the pack fighter and we'll see how that works out. So I'll click fight and I'm just going to have to recharge with Demise. I will do charge with Rosinant. So here goes. Balthazar's mask activate. I'm going to do charge alone. So I have damage increased, a three turn damage increased. That's your self skill that grants an extra turn. See it's right here. And then Nightmare Tiger. Well, let's see. Pack Fighter, 31k, Demoralizing Roar. Doesn't kill everyone, right? Still not strong enough to take out the monsters in the back. Let's do Nightmare Tiger. So I attack. And now I have double damage and I have my damage boost. This is from my own kit, Demoralizing Roar. Now it's strong enough to take out everyone. So again, the skills themselves, nothing really too flashy, nothing too amazing. The AoE is moderate light damage. Your 60 damage skill has a 50% chance of possession. Your setup skill, well, it's only it's a setup for one turn, so you can argue how good that actually is. And then the main thing again being that self damage. And again, in the context that he isn't he is in books where there are a lot of dark monsters, I think that's what makes this monster potentially quite powerful. If it wasn't for that, if he was just a light monster that wasn't facing a lot of dark monsters, then you could kind of argue against it. But I think given this monster's power, given the relics you can put on this monster. He is quite a formidable monster. He also has a great fantastic monster monster design. I should probably I should probably partner him up with Cloud, and then that would be really cool. Cloud and Patreon by his side, that would be awesome. Demoralizing Roar. Bam, look at all of that damage. So yeah, against Dark Monsters, great, great monster. So who knows, if booked correctly, he might even be able to take out like a Sammy or something. So anyhow, I think that's going to be it for the monster review on Mishka. Overall, I really do like the monster. I wish I could have done more player versus player, but it says the opponents I'm facing, they're war masters, they're nemesis monsters, they're ranked up. It's impossible to actually use Mishka and be able to beat them. So it wouldn't be a really a good showcase of them. So that's why I had to do the adventure map, and that's why you did see those two PvP battles that didn't quite go my way. But anyhow, with all that being said, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Now let me know in the comments below, were you actually able to get Mishka? Were you able to get the key to do the quest? And if so, and you were actually able to get Mishka, let me know how have you liked using them. Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you think there are better light attackers? Whatever your thoughts may be, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.